Hello, everybody, and welcome to another AI Corner. I'm Nick Novak, going to talk about some of the updates from AI recently in the industry and just getting into it with uh, the announcement here of Grok 1.5 from X here, uh, providing long context understanding up to 128,000 tokens. So this is a new, just bigger, better model, improved coding and math abilities, a little bit smaller token context window than with some of the other larger next gen models we've seen from companies like Google with Gemini and Claude 3 from Anthropic. This one will be available on X soon. We also have reports of Stargate. This is a project, a supercomputer project that is reportedly being started through co collaboration between Microsoft and OpenAI. And this project is estimated to be quite large. The projected cost of $100 billion. So it's projects like this could handle incredibly complex AI tasks, training of foundation models, who knows what scheduled potentially for completion in 2028, just full steam ahead on the compute side of, of AI. We have a announcement from OpenAI. This was a preview of the voice engine. So there have been several features that have been released through ChatGPT to allow the, um, the AI to synthesize a voice. To read the responses, you can also interact with the AI in real time. And that model standalone looks like is being previewed and it's called Voice Engine by OpenAI. Very, very realistic voices that are created from just a 15 second audio sample and then can generate natural language speech that really sound quite human like from that text. We also have kind of the announcement recently from Apple of a model Realm that they are reporting is outperforming GPT-4 in certain areas. Um, and this uh, notably, I think, is, is designed to be an on-device model. So this is really something that could significantly improve the, the performance of something like Siri, for example. Having an AI that can live, live on a, a mobile device, power these virtual assistant generative AI features like, like Siri and give them lots of capabilities. We had an interesting report from Anthropic called Many Shot Jailbreaking. This is a security issue that they released. They're actually publishing publicly and they gave a kind of like a pre-release to all of the other AI companies that one of the new advancements in LLMs has seen the context window really grow from uh, at the beginning, it was like 2,000 tokens was all you could get. 100,000 token models were released. Uh, Anthropic Cloud 3, uh, you can have uh, 100,000 100, uh, tokens. And then Gemini can go upwards into 10 million tokens in that context window. And this vulnerability exploits those large context windows in order to just get rid of all of the safeguards that these models have and allow them to then just prompt, uh, allow you to prompt the model to respond uh, about anything, whether that's illegal or whether it was not prompted to do that. So yeah, really, really interesting stuff. As fast as these models are being released, it seems like ways of subverting the safeguards are also being discovered. And so that is an interesting development from Anthropic there. We heard a little bit more about Apple. So they did table their car project after a very long time some reports that one of the things that they're looking into uh, to do with that energy instead is to develop mobile and tabletop robots for auto automation in the home. So that would be a very interesting project from Apple. If they're not going to do the car, they're going to be diverting that energy into something else. In-home user interaction uh, could be one of the potential things we see from Apple in the future, uh, but these details are still not being discussed. I think it is very early to tell. And uh, we have uh, some reports that the the OpenAI, not reports, rather OpenAI did release an expansion to their custom model program. So this is an enterprise feature set uh, that allows customers to work with OpenAI to create custom trained models for their use cases. This program is being expanded. They got a new dashboard, new integrations that other companies or enterprise customers can use the OpenAI platform to create their own models that do whatever they want. And then we saw the release of Hicksfield. Hicksfield kind of coming out of stealth here after a long time to create a text to video model. We saw with Sora, one of these uh, 
text to video models that was amazing was was announced by OpenAI. This looks to be a little bit of a competitor to that, focusing on uh, creating social media content where you can upload a profile picture of yourself and it generates kind of these um, cartoony or uh, you know re realistic caricature like shareable video content that is personalized to your uh, to your profile pictures and can also create just really high fidelity video from text. So more players here entering the text to video field here. And then lastly, we did have the release of Stable Audio 2. This is the next generation uh, model of Stability AI. It is available now. Can generate audio tracks up to three minutes long. And interestingly, other uh, unlike other models we've seen uh, recently with the release of Suno V3, which is also a very high quality audio text to audio model, Stable Audio 2 has an audio to audio capability. So you can upload a audio clip, a song, and then prompt it to alter the quality of that song, potentially adding production um, you know, effects to it or even changing the genre of the song. Really interesting tool sets being released there. And that is all that I have for the week, and I'll see you all next time.